Here we're looking at a uh, layout of four tapes with two passes of tractor. The first pass lays two tapes, and the second pass lays additional two tapes. Uh, those tapes are there for purpose of irrigation and salt leaching during plant establishment. We're looking at the uh, location of four drip lines previously buried in a strawberry bed. We're trying to match the location of the root zones of the four strawberry plant rows to provide the water and hydration and leach the salts. Uh, as you see, the drip tapes are about uh, two to three inches deep uh, and they're safely located so the following operations of cutting holes uh, will not damage those drip tapes and uh, about three inches away from the blades of the hole punching machine. We're looking at an event of Santana winds. Those are strong winds coming from the east. Uh, the air temperature is between 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the wind speeds sometimes exceed 25 miles per hour. Uh, those are difficult conditions for those young strawberry transplants. Uh, what we're looking here is a, a drip only block and because we don't use sprinklers in this block, the dry soil uh, is relatively loose and allows a plastic that encapsulates the beds uh, to become undone and blown by the wind. Uh, as, as opposed to that, uh, in the irrigated block with overhead water, we're saturating soil and it compresses the plastic into the furrow bottoms and uh, bed sides and plastic stays put during those strong wind conditions. The irrigation overhead, even though it helps to cement the beds and establish plastic in the beds, uh, allows a lot of water to be uh, lost from those beds through plastic and from the furrows uh, traveling uh, to the ditches, car carrying the soil particles and associated uh, pollutants such as legacy pesticides, phosphorus, and some other nutrients. Uh, even with a short irrigation cycle overhead, uh, there's accumulation of water uh, from the irrigation block. We're looking at uh, plant performance at the end of the year, December 31st. Uh, we're looking at plants uh, established with a buried drip. As uh, shown previously, they grow well. There is uh, very little to no mortality, 98.5% uh, plant establishment. Uh, the plants are vigorous and strong. There are occasional skips, uh, but in general they're doing really well, starting to produce fruit and um, have prolific flowering and a fruit set at this point. Uh, right next to this bed, we're looking at uh, drip placed in the surface of the beds, and that's providing hydration and leaching and, and those plants equally uh, looking looking equally well. It's pretty good so far, honestly. So. Uh, we're looking at ripe fruit. At uh, the end of the year, we have uh, getting ready for the first harvest. Uh, we have uh, good quality plant uh, production and uh, in all sections, all treatments that we evaluated, we have uh, very similar production levels of marketable fruit and they're going to be shipped as uh, fresh produce to Canada and different parts of the United States. And here we're looking at the plants established with standard overhead irrigation when the water from sprinkler falls in the planting holes and leaches the salts and hydrate those plants in that manner. Uh, and the plants are looking well. There are very few skips, about the same level of establishment and uh, growth in, as in drip only irrigated plots. Uh, so in about similar level of production at this point with a slightly increased uh, plant size.